Hey squad, Sykes here and thank you for taking the time out to click on this video. If you enjoy what you see, then please make sure you leave a like, head over to Installation X and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for more Sea of Thieves uploads. So the point of today's video is to give everyone who may be new to Sea of Thieves or who have come across some of my more popular videos on the Ash and Dragon set a full complete update for 2021 on how to unlock all the Ash and Dragon cosmetics. A lot has changed in Sea of Thieves since I uploaded my four part series on the Ash and Dragon set as well as my How to Find Ash and Treasures video which I released late in 2019. So let's get into how to unlock the Ash and Dragon set in 2021. Firstly, there is now a total of 20 Ashen Tomes split into four sets of five. The Tomes of Curses, the Tomes of Power, the Tomes of Fire and the Tomes of Resurrection. Handing in each Tome for the first time to the Bilge Rat, now represented by Lorina outside any outpost, or to the Servant of the Flame on Reaper's Hideout for the Reaper's Bones, will unlock the item for you to purchase from the respective trader on any outpost. More on that later. So how do you get your hands on Ashen Tomes? Well, you're going to need two things, an Ashen Chest and an Ashen Key. You will need the Ashen Key to unlock the Ashen Chest in order to gain the Ashen Tome inside. Simple. Kinda. Now in 2021, there are many ways you can get your hands on either Ashen Chest or Ashen Keys, and I'm going to run through them all for you now. The easiest but most expensive method is by purchasing and completing Ashen Chest and Ashen Key stash voyages from the Bilge Rat. These used to be free, but they're not anymore. These are simple voyages that will give you the location of an Ashen Chest or an Ashen Key to dig up at any outpost. The downside is that a Chest Stash Voyage is 50 doubloons each and a Key Stash Voyage is now 99 doubloons each, so it ain't cheap. If you do not have the funds then don't worry as there are now many other ways to get your hands on Ashen Chests and Keys from across the seas. You can still get a guaranteed Ashen Chest from completing an Ashen Guardian's Notes, which are dropped when you defeat an Ashen Guardian. Ashen Guardians spawn a lot less now, but you are guaranteed an Ashen Guardian during the final waves of a Skull Fort. You are also now guaranteed an Ashen Chest from the Vault of a Skeleton Fort, as well as being guaranteed three Ashen Chests if you take out a Skeleton Fleet, not to be confused with a Ghost Fleet now. Finally, for Ashen's Chest, there is a chance of getting an Ashen Chest from defeating a Kraken, a Meg, or Emergent Skeleton Ships, but this isn't a guarantee, so there is a bit of good fortune involved with those methods. Now getting your hands on Ashen Chests is the easier part, it's getting your hand on the Ashen Keys to unlock them which is more difficult. Now you are guaranteed an Ashen Key if you defeat an Ashen Key Master. These can be found emergent on islands but again are less common now just like with the Ashen Guardians, but you can find an Ashen Key Master during the final waves of a Skull Fort. You won't have to complete any additional task as the key will just be dropped for you to pick up. There is also a low chance of fishing for an Ashen Key using your fishing rod without bait and that's it. So a top tip is to spend any doubloons on Ashen Key stash voyages to get keys instead of chests as finding chests is much easier. Now an important point is that unlocking Ashen Chests is a bit of a lottery as there is no guarantee you will get the tomes you are missing or haven't sold before. It is highly likely that you will get duplicates at some point or maybe you won't get a tome in a chest at all as it's possible to get other things like Ritual Skulls, Devil's Raw Trinkets and Doubloon or Gold Pouches. You can however sell Ashen Chests and Ashen Keys directly to Lorina or the Servant of the Flame for Doubloons if you are unable to get the other item you need. Now, on to the Ashen Dragon items themselves. Once you've sold a tome for the first time, you will be able to buy the item from the trader at the outpost. Weapons are purchased from the weapon shop, clothing items from the clothes shop, equipment items from the equipment shop, and ship items from the shipwright. So it's no longer just kept with all the build rats as it was last time. So let's break down the entire Ashen Dragon set and all the items that you can unlock. First up, the Tome of Curses 1 through 5 unlock the following. Tome 1 is the hat. Tome 2 is the jacket. Tome 3 is the dress. Tome 4 is the hook. And Tome 5 is the peg leg. Selling the whole set of all the Tomes of Curses will unlock the Cutlass. The Tomes of Power unlock the following. Tome 1 is the Spyglass. Tome 2 is the Compass. Tome 3 is the Shovel. Tome 4 is the Bucket. Tome 5 the Fishing Rod. Selling the whole set of the Tomes of Power will unlock the Flintlock. Tomes of Fire 1 through 5 unlock the following. Tome 1 is the Drum. 
Tome 2 is the Hurdy-Gurdy. Tome 3 is the Concertina. Tome 4 is the Banjo. And Tome 5 is the Speaking Trumpet. Selling the whole set of Tomes of Fire will unlock the Blunderbuss. Tomes of Resurrection unlock the following. Tomes 1 is the Flag. Tome 2 is the Cannons. Tome 3 is the Capstan. Tomes 4 is the Wheel. Tome 5 is the Figurehead. And selling the whole set of Tomes of Resurrection will unlock the Eye of Reach. Now it's important to know that once you've unlocked them by selling the Tomes, they're not free. You're still going to have to use gold in-game to purchase them all. The whole entire set is going to cost around 450,000 gold, so make sure you've got those reserves ready for when you want to purchase different items. The only main items that cannot be unlocked this way are the sails and the hull. The sails can be unlocked by completing the Seabound Soul Tool Tale three times and by finding all five journals. Check out my guide if you need a hand with that one. And finally, the hull can be unlocked by just completing the Heart of Fire Tool Tale once. Again, check out my guide if you need help with that one. Well squad, that is a complete update of the Ash and Dragon set for 2021. I hope you found this video useful. If you did then please make sure you leave a like, head over to Installation X and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for more CFU's uploads. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Follow myself and the channel on social media with links in the description. And as always, I'm Sykes and for more on Sea of Thieves and all things Xbox, stay tuned to Installation X. Bye guys.